let's talk about dictionaries in Python. So dictionaries are going to be a certain data type within Python, just like lists, tuples, string, floats, ints, uh, and all the other good ones. Dictionary is one of them. And the way that you can tell that it's a dictionary is through its key value pair. And what that means is that you'll be able to specify a key and the dictionary will return a value to you. And so it's kind of like a mini V lookup in Excel. And let's look at an example of this. So I'm going to create a variable called my dictionary and I'm going to use curly brackets. So curly brackets is another way that you'll know that it's a dictionary and that's kind of dictionary specific. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to specify a key and value pair that's going to be separated by a colon. And then if you want to do multiple, you just need to put a comma on the end. So the first one I'm going to do is I'm going to do a string. So I'm going to say San Francisco. And so, and I want to return California. So this means when I call San Francisco on the dictionary, it's going to return California to me. And in this case, we're doing a string. Let's do one more. When I call New York, I want to get New York out. Great. But you can also do uh, integers. And so let's say I want to call a one and I want three returned to me. No problem. And then you can also do floats, which we'll show. And not only can you do floats, but here we do the same data types on either side of the key and value, but you can also mix them up if you want. And so here, for example, I'm calling a float and then I'm calling a string. So let's call that. And then I'm going to say my dictionary and I'm going to say San Francisco. And you can see here that we get California returned to us. So let's go ahead and do the, the, the rest of these. New York, you get New York returned. And then for example, here, we're just using an integer and calling one, great. And then last but not least, we'll also do a float and we'll say 32.2 and we get float returned. So that's a dictionary, you specify a key and then you get a value out the other end.